Welcome back to another episode here on Cap Tech. Today, since our most popular video to date has been things you didn't know about Southern Illinois, we're going to introduce a sequel entitled A Dozen More Things You Didn't Know About, you guessed it, Southern Illinois. Southern Illinois was the earliest settled and once the wealthiest part of Illinois. The first European settlers were the French colonists in the peace of their northern empire entitled Illinois Country. Only Illinois claim to fame is its unusual population of albino squirrels. Casey, Illinois, which is high in my list of places to go next that I haven't yet visited, has the world's largest golf tee, the world's largest rocking chair, and the world's largest mailbox. They also have a place called Great House of Pizza, so that's cool. Then there's the Kaskaskia Dragon, which you can actually get special tokens to put into, and it literally blows fire. Check it out. There's more videos on it on YouTube. It looks really, uh, really cool. A little known fact that we have a dragon here in Illinois. We have a hippie memorial, which is actually in Arcola. I have not seen the memorial, but I'm gonna check that out as well. In my previous Unknown Facts About Southern Illinois uh, video, we talked a little bit about the Burger Shelton Gang War. But did you know where that took place in Southern Illinois? Williamson County is referred to as Bloody Williamson due to several outbreaks of violence um, that have few equals in our uh, American history. These events include the Bloody Vendetta, 1876, which was an armed confrontation between families uh, during the uh, waning days of Reconstruction. The Carterville Massacre in 1899, the Coal Strike in 1906, the Heron Massacre in 1922, the Klan War in 24 through 26, all took place before the Burger shelton Gang War of 1926. Williamson County, bloody place. The oldest bank in Illinois was chartered in Old Shawneetown in 1816. The Old Shawneetown State Bank has been restored now as a historical site. That in and of itself seems like a fairly boring fact, except Shawneetown comes up again in our next fact. The origin of the Little Egypt name, Dateline, 1799, Baptist minister John Badgley dubbed the Fertile Highlands near Edwardsville, that's the 62025 for those of you not from the area, as, quote, the land of Goshen. Early Edwardsville was actually known as Goshen, a biblical reference to Egypt. Geographic features, such as the Mississippi, and its floodplains were also similar to the fertile Nile Valley. The Indian mounds of the area were large at the time and may have also seemed like the pyramids of Egypt. The nickname stuck and was reinforced by other events. Here you see the sign for the Goshen Road, which talks about it being a road that ran in a northwesterly direction from Shawneetown to Edwardsville. We've got two different Abraham Lincoln events before we get to our final unknown facts of Southern Illinois, little known facts of Southern Illinois, however you want to say it. Dateline, 1858, Lincoln ran for the U.S. Senate 
against incumbent Stephen Douglas. A series of debates was held in seven towns in Illinois, including Jonesboro and Alton. I raise this point because I record this in Otto, Illinois, and we talk often of the Lincoln and Douglas debates because we had one here. The next point, also on Lincoln, when Lincoln commissioned the Southern Illinois Democrat John Alexander McKernand as a brigadier general, he told him, keep Egypt right side up, meaning keep Southern Illinois in the north. Southern Illinois had become a center for the Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret group devoted to supporting the Confederacy with rising concern about unarmed Southern sympathizers in August 1862, U.S. Marshal David Phillips arrested several Democrats who allegedly belonged to the Knights, including men in respectable positions like congressmen, state reps, and judges, such as Judge Andrew Duff. They were sent to Washington, D.C. and held for 68 days before release, but they were never charged. Democrats then won the state in the fall election. Next, George Harrison, the Beatle, in the 60s, visited Benton, Illinois. Our last fact that you probably didn't know about Southern Illinois is that if it became our 51st state in the Union, and there's a little uh, controversy as to where exactly we'd uh, draw the line to do that, but uh, figuring just on estimates, Southern Illinois would be our 42nd largest state geographically as a standalone state, and it's 1.2 million people would make it our 44th most populous state. Thanks again for watching Cap Tech. We appreciate it. Please feel free to comment and subscribe to our channel. In the comments and or description below, I now have a tip jar. Thanks for watching Cap Tech on YouTube. We're also on TikTok. Please feel free to subscribe follow us on either. We also offer video consulting services covering various video editing and coaching. The hourly rate for individualized remote assistance is 45 per hour. That is negotiable if you purchase multiple hours. Again, our services include helping you make your own videos, consultation in setting up your own YouTube channel, setting up your video advertisement campaign, and more or take our introduction to video production video course for $99 hosted by yours truly. It comes with one hour of video support included. Please inquire by reaching out to us directly at captechstudios at gmail.com. It's a great gift idea, even for a kid. Thanks again for watching CapTech.